Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to Calling the Shots with myself, Kiki. And Sarah. And I feel like we didn't even get the chance to catch up because <laughs> we just started being like, okay, are we on the same page yeah. for the podcast today? <laughs> How yeah. are we feeling? How are you feeling? I'm doing good. Um, yeah. Just... A little bit of chaotic week coming up, and I feel like as it gets as the wedding gets closer, it's just gonna get more and more, more and more crazy, chaotic. Yeah. So, but I'm doing good. I was like, yeah, I feel like we just got right down to business today. We, we like, really did. Even did. Really dark. <laughs> it's but, so true. Yeah, I'm doing good. Just work and wedding planning and all the things. I have like my first dance practice for. So my fiance is Polynesian Mm -hmm. and there's like a traditional uh, Polynesian dance that the bride does and it's like an opportunity for people to like give you money. Because they throw money yeah. while you're dancing for context. <laughs> yeah. And the first time I saw it, I was like, I don't know how I feel about this, but hey, like if it means people are giving me money, like I'll do it. So I need to learn that and I haven't started learning yet. And <laughs> I have to be in Florida in like two weeks. So yeah, I'm just like a little stressed about that. But I have my first practice tonight. So so exciting. I, yeah, I will let you know how it goes. Hopefully it's like I've seen people do it and it doesn't seem too like intricate. You yeah. Know? You kind of repeat like the same dance moves in order, like kind of over and over. Yeah. From what I've seen, I could be completely wrong because like each island does it different, a little different. Mm-hmm. So we'll see how it I'm, goes, but I'm excited for you. I think I'm that's, excited. But I think that's cool. I think I'm, it's so cool. Yeah, it will be fun. But like, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I haven't even, I haven't, I haven't even watched YouTube video. Like, I have no idea. Yeah. So it's gonna be kind of. Yeah, starting from square one. (laughs) It's so cool, but so crazy because it's literally just like you dancing Mm -hmm. and everyone watching and And throwing money. Yeah, and then like like, the groomsmen and like the groom like stand behind you. Yeah. And like none of his groomsmen are Polynesian, so I don't know if they're actually going to do it, but like. He'll be there. Yeah, and they like, (laughs) they kind of like screaming and like cheering. It's like a very like overwhelming experience so i'm just like don't mess up (laughs) like make sure that you know all the steps really well because it's gonna be like kind of a lot so yeah i can't wait for you i'm excited it will be good and i'm not usually sometimes the bride does like a wardrobe change and changes into like like cultural like a like clothing costume yeah basically and i'm like that's just too much like one I went to she straight up looked like they like you know how wrestlers they like lather them in oil to make them shiny like she was like shiny and I was like this is a lot and then she stayed in that and I was like see I don't want to I don't want to stay totally she's wearing like this huge like head like thing and it's just like a it's it's a whole thing so like I might have like some stuff added to me but I'm not like gonna go change and come back yeah you're not every bride does that but like it is something that some do and then like my fiance was like you don't have to do that it's okay sarah like (laughs) you're fine this the fact that you're already learning it is like enough and i was like okay cool (laughs) because i'm like this is a lot i'm a little stressed no that makes sense it's like what works for you in the wedding day and everything so yeah so anyways super exciting i'll keep you posted on how that goes but that's really that's like my life right now is just Figuring out all the little details. So fun. How are things going with you? I saw your Instagram post about your team. Yes. I'm sorry. I just wanted to start there. I know. No, I was about to. I was about to. (laughs) Guys, my Powderpuff team won last week. So exciting. So exciting. Last week, I told you guys how we won the championship. We didn't just win. But last week, I told you guys how I was so sad because I was going to be out of town for the championship. And I really wanted them to win. And I'm so happy because they did win. And they pulled through. They pulled through. And I was nervous because in our, like, team chat, like, the first girl that showed up was like, so the entire other team is already here practicing. They have a whole first string, a whole second string. And they were, like, doing abs and stuff, warming up. And our team is just, like, so chill. chill. We just, yeah. like, happen to be good, yeah. like, which is great. You just have the talent. 
their talents yeah. there. Yeah. I honestly think what's fun is I feel like a lot of people are like, I only want to be on the team with my friends or whatever. Yeah. But I feel like my team just welcomed like whoever. whoever. And mm-hmm. we ended up getting really good players because of it. Nice. Like it worked out really hey, well. You recruited. Yeah. Your, N- your NIL collective was solid. Oh my gosh. Listen, <laughs> so true. So true. No, we, yeah, we so had a fun. great. We really Exciting. scouted and recruited, and no, it was so fun. I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm sad I missed it, but I was so happy they won. And then my other update for you was that I survived the haunted house. Oh yes, how was it? Did it was. You, it was you feel? good. Haunted houses are crazy these days. They had like a lot of times. I feel like the like robotic stuff is like cheesy and bad. Yeah, they had like really good robotic stuff. Like oh, interesting. Literally like a dragon ahead that's like this entire length like the length of me to you that like comes out and looks so realistic that was like whoa and like (laughs) they had a few things like that where i was like whoa that's actually like the production of it was really Really good and then they had like these acrobatic people yeah that were like this was creepy because they were like hiding in like a corner of the room and and they would like jump down off a trampoline and then like have their arms like tethered to the back and like get so close to your face and then like yeah. spring back i was like yeah what yeah i i've never seen so many like acrobatic things yeah. there was a few things I like think that that was the same one they had like people that would like swing out in yes, front of you that too and that's why i said like if you're too close to the people in front of you like they have to get back into position Yes. So, like, then it's not scary because you saw them do it. Totally. So. We tried to, like, have a, like, a good, like, space in between the people in front of us. And then it was a triple date. So, we would just, like, rotate out who was in the front. (laughs) Nice. (laughs) Um, Overall, it was good. I get scared by literally everything. Like, I'm just, like. Jumpy. Every, I'm, like, (gasps) like, every two seconds. Like, it's just, like, dumb. (laughs) But it was fun. It it was actually a good time. So. I'm getting less, um, I get scared right beforehand, but I'm getting less scared. So. Yeah, yeah. It's more like anxiety inducing, I feel like. Yes. Because I know it's coming, but I don't know when. Yeah. And so I'm just saying they're like stressed out because I'm trying to predict what's going to happen. 100%. And when it's gonna happen. Yeah, I'm like, I know I'm going to be scared any second, and that almost makes me more, more scared. scared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I feel that. Yeah, but it was good. It was overall Fun. really good. Exciting. We love um, the spooky season. In fact, yeah. we love it so much that today is our spooky season episode. Yes. So we talked about a few different ways we could do this. And I think the be- maybe the best way um, to describe it, let's see. I think I wrote it down as like what our sports nightmares would be. Yeah. I, yeah. Does that describe hypothetical well? sports like nightmares that yes. terrify us? What <laughs> we think, yeah, what we think would give us nightmares from yeah. the sports world. Yeah. So, and these aren't actual things that have happened or let's be clear, these are not things that these happened. are just things that we would be terrified if they did happen. Yeah, it is our worst nightmare for this to happen. Yeah. Like it could not happen. Yeah. It's like a it's like what if, but only like things that you would hate. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, we will be doing that today. But before that, we do have some fun things to touch on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the day that this episode, not this episode, the day last week's episode came out, came out was the WNBA finals. Finals. And yeah. it ended up being the championship game with the Aces winning it all again. Yeah. Back to back. Second year in a row, which is crazy yeah anytime you go back to back it's really impressive yeah also time out really quick i don't want anyone to think we're skipping our women's segment at the end because we usually do it at the end but we were like little production note little production note for you guys we were just like it makes sense to be early yeah why wait why wait we wanted to talk about this now so we're putting it wherever we want and this is where we want it yeah this is a very like (laughs) girls centric women centric podcast why not why not just Start start with it or have it a little earlier. Yeah, have it a little earlier. On <laughs> so that's what we're doing. Congratulations to the Aces. Um, there's a few interesting things about this, you guys. Yeah. Also, it was a super close game. It was a one point game. And it was game five. Yeah. In a series, games was can. It game five or game four? I it was game oh, it was game four. Sorry, game we four. thought it was yeah. game five, and then we were like, wait, no, that was game four. <laughs> it was game four, which 
like series could go a lot longer than that yeah so yeah it's but the game itself was close. Yeah, it was super close. It was very intense and a little nerve-wracking. Because at one point, um, Liberty Star, Sabrina... Well, this is, I would say... Ma- and potent- you? Yeah. I was going to say, maybe, like, very nerve-wracking. Yeah. For, for just, you know, for some people. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so Sabrina and Iskew, she... Like, has said before that she gets nervous before games. Mm -hmm. And she just showed it a little bit. A lot. On the court. (laughs) And in the garbage can. Yeah. That she she, uh, threw up into. Yeah. During a timeout in the fourth quarter, she uh, was seen walking off the court and throwing up into a trash can. So. Yeah. Rough. Very rough. Very interesting. I mean, she, like, went back out and... Played. Played. She just like went to the side, peeked, yeah. and then kept going. And like drained a three right after that. Like, yeah, it's fine. So it's interesting just need to get out of my system. One hundred percent. Some people thought she might be sick, like people on social media. Yeah. But I think what people are rolling with is nerves because she hasn't said she was sick. Yeah. But um, also some of the Liberty players who lost Sabrina, a couple of her teammates. They didn't do post-game press conference, Mm. which was interesting because if you guys don't know, if you don't talk to the media after, you get fined. So I think the, the, not the aces, I think Liberty got fined $25,000 for the three of them not doing um, post-game media. And then they also individually turned down like any other media. And so I think they each got fined like $2,000. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So kind of crazy. Yeah, that is kind of crazy. I mean, like it is a tough, when it's that big of a game. It is tough, but, like, that comes with the territory. 100%. I'm so. curious what, like, if you get a talking to afterwards from, yeah. like, team how or the, ownership or yeah. whoever. How the Liberty takes Whoever's it. paying the bills. I'm wondering yeah. if they say something. It's very true. Interesting. So, very interesting. Another, another fun fact, which is just... This is just so... This is just so funny to me. So, one of the Aces players... Um, <laughs> to be like we said, they've won the Aces. I've won twenty twenty two. Now twenty twenty three. Asia Wilson, she's has called out Usher multiple times to come to the championship parade. He yeah. did not come last year. She called him out again. I don't think maybe by the time this is aired, the championship parade has happened. happened yeah, I hope he comes. I really do too. Cause like, what do you have to lose, Usher? That's, like, and he just, I'm pretty sure he just got, like, a key to the city, too. Did you see that? No. Yeah, so, like, he became, I don't know if he, that means he became, like, a resident of Vegas, but, like, he. I thought, is he, he from Vegas? Well, he performed, like, that's where he's been performing for, like, the past couple of years. He has, like, his own show in Vegas, and, like, a lot of celebrities will, like, become residents there, and then they do, like, a celebration for them. So I just saw this randomly, like, a week ago that, like, he got a key to the city. And, like, so was, you like, better be so, like, at the better, parade. Like, be there. And also, like, that can help you promote the fact that you're going to do the Super Bowl halftime yeah, show. Yeah, because... Which no one else is promoting for you. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. You might as well go show out for... Support your local team, and then also... That could also help you. Yep. So hope I hope he goes. I like, hope so, too. What else is he doing? He's already there in Vegas. Yeah, you're already chilling. You might as well show up and yeah. have a good time. Yeah. I think that'd be so fun. Oh, so fun. Like, pff, can't even imagine. Yeah. Yeah. I hope, I hope he goes. <laughs> time for our weekly Travis <laughs> Kelsey and Taylor Swift update. Because, listen, you listen. guys are going to cut. You're going to continue to hear it. Honestly, this one, pretty simple. Because yeah. at this point, she's just been, she's at the games, right? Yeah. She's been going to a lot of the games. Um, and there's just, here's the fun things you need to know yeah. from her being at the game. A, she was wearing a friendship bracelet that had 87 on it. Love that you're wearing friendship bracelets also. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> my, uh, we made these ones for work. Cute. So I like still, I have them on. One of Love them that. says Oh Real. my gosh, I did see one your TikTok. Says, about yeah. We made, places. we made them for our, uh, RSL players and it was yeah. fun. And actually there are some that like still wear theirs to this day. That's that was cute. like over a month ago. That's so it's so actually cute. really cute. Love that. One of them like swapped theirs. It was, it was funny, but, um, she was wearing one. Yes. It had 87 on it, which is his number. Mm-hmm. Super fun. She also did a handshake with 
Brittany Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes' wife. They're tight like that now, They're I guess. They're tight like that now, I guess. Which also makes me think it's not staged. Because, we keep talking about this, but I'm like, I don't, I feel like the NFL would know. Maybe people think the opposite of this. But I feel like the NFL would know, like, people don't love Brittany Mahomes. We're mm-hmm. not going to attach Taylor to her. Yeah. I feel like they'd be strategic in that way. Also, a lot of people have been like, I think it's fake because like the Kelsey documentary came out and like his Pfizer commercial launched like the same day she was at the game or something like that where the Mm. dates I'm like here's the thing though if you're their PR team you're just gonna capitalize on it yeah you that's just strategic yeah so I just needed a side note yeah I have heard devil's advocate that people because of the friendship bracelet and the handshake it's feeling forced and so they feel like it's fake like because like That seems like just another thing that you could sell is that friendship bracelet now. You can get them made and sell them. Or, like, Brittany Mahomes isn't the, like, most popular person, so let's help Taylor make her more popular to help the brand of the Chiefs and Mahomes and all of that. Yeah, but people still like Patrick Mahomes. They just think Brittany's annoying. Yeah. I also am, like, friendship bracelet. I understand what people are saying. Yeah. Because I could see it being like that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just taking the opposite angle where I'm like, friendship yeah. bracelets were already popular. Yeah. People also, like, make their own. Yeah. So, it's if you true. were to buy an $87, or not $87, an <laughs> 87 friendship bracelet, you'd be stupid. Just go make, make one. Make one. Yeah. Also, did you see Mahomes' brother, like, force his way into the background of, like, Taylor Is this Jackson? And, yeah. Of Taylor I literally thought he was in jail. Brittany celebrating. I literally thought he was in jail. No, I'm pretty sure he's not. We talked about it on our radio show today, but apparently, like, I didn't see, I didn't notice it, but, like, you see him, like, like, clearly trying to get in the shot so that he's in the background and, like, he gets screen time. I hate him. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Anyway. I hate him. That's another side There's actual, like, there are serious allegations against Against him. him. He is annoying. But he would do something like that. (laughs) <laughs> he would. Get, don't... And that's... I feel like if it was staged, Taylor Swift would not want to attach herself to... to yeah. Him. Be in the same suite as him. Yeah. It's very true. They're strategic. Yeah. The... the I forget what... I don't... Someone told me her PR person was telling me all this stuff about how they are so strategic and well thought out. I'm like... Yeah. Oh Which makes sense. But yeah. I was like, oh my gosh. I feel like they would be strategic about that too. It's true. Anyways. um, Also, it's just funny because... <laughs> They just show her every two seconds. Yeah. So there was a point where Travis got, like, pushed a little bit. He fell down, and she looked terrified. Yeah. It Taylor looked, Swift. It was, like, a little bit. It looked like it could have been a scary tackle. It did. It looked like the way he, f- like, was landed weird. was yeah. weird. And she looked terrified, and she's invested. Yeah, she's invested. It's true. And then on top of that, his success since she's been going to his games... Oh it's wild. I forgot about this. Yeah. They showed a stat of it. Yeah. Oh, what was the was it, what was it called? It was called the um, I think I did think I write it, it down? down? Yeah. Well you didn't write down the name of it, but or left to no, 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 no. There was oh, there was a name with it that like was punny, but it basically was like basically the idea is they were showing his stats with her in attendance versus not in attendance. Yeah. With her in attendance. He has like ninety nine receiving yards, of, yards yeah, per game which is wild and it was like half of that almost yeah without her without her so and it's funny because like the way they wrote it was like with taylor swift in attendance and then instead of being like without taylor swift in attendance they literally wrote like left to his own devices, devices. yeah like, who wrote that yeah <laughs> it's just funny um so funny so so funny um also their head coach andy reed said that she can come back anytime that she wants. <laughs> yeah, which is so funny. So that's our that's our update. Just yeah. that it's still going and the fun little things are happening. Yeah. The little details about it just keep coming out, you know? Yeah. So anyways, this next thing, I'm not going to lie. I only read what you sent me. So I'm just you so know, interested I'm to sure hear what you have to say. <laughs> I'm sure you've seen this yeah. and not realized the full scope of it. Yeah, I've seen social media things of it, but I never like did a deep dive. Yeah. 
So we went from one relationship that everyone's super high on. Okay, maybe not everyone because a lot of NFL fans There's are tired of, haters, of seeing it. It's okay. It's okay. We um, get it. We get it. We respect it. But um, this is this is a relation. This is drama. Juicy. Okay, this yeah. is juicy. So. If you have heard the names Allie Krieger, Ashlyn Harris, and Sophia Bush lately all tied together, you know what we're about to talk about. So U.S. women's national team players, Allie Krieger and Ashlyn Harris, um, I guess Ashlyn like retired back in 2022, like about a year ago, but they both played on the U.S. women's national team. They were married for four years, been together for like almost a decade, right? And Ashlyn then just filed for divorce on September 19th. It came out like a couple weeks later. Mm -hmm. They have two children together. One is two years old. One is 14 months old. So this like shocked the soccer world. Okay. Like everyone was kind of like. Very unexpected. Very unexpected. Especially because they like. They have these young kids. That's like. Yeah. A 14th month old, they adopted the 14th month old like a year ago. So it's like, that's like, it just was not. Where did this come from? Not on anyone's yearly bingo Mm -hmm. card, okay? So everyone was like, well, this is shocking. Yeah. Um, And then things got interesting. Mm -hmm. So rumors started flying that Ashlyn Harris cheated on Allie Krieger with the One Tree Hill star, Sophia Bush. I've never seen One Tree Hill. Which is shocking Have to you me, seen? Kiki. Yes, of course. Think I needed this perspective. You would have loved One Tree Hill. Like, you should go and watch it. It's so yeah, good. But now I'm not going to be able to watch it the same. That's tr- This is true. This is true. Because <laughs> I, I didn't know her, like, off-screen name. Right. And so I had to go. I literally looked her up right before this. And I was like, who? Which one? Which, which one? girl was she? And I'm like, oh, interesting. I didn't know that she was lesbian or bi i don't know which is which i don't think anyone knew she was gay or bi in any capacity or whatever she identifies with yeah i think that's also a part of the reason that this was surprising yeah i don't to my knowledge she had not like come out in any way also, you should watch One Tree Hill. Sorry, I just we okay, need to okay. get that. You, One, you would really enjoy I it, probably, even though it's like it's old, so it's gonna be a little cheesy and like the. But like, hey, Vampire Diaries, same way. You would love One Tree Hill. I got crap for it at the beginning of college, and so I really? like binged it during COVID. I think, <laughs> uh, like most people, binged a lot of things, and uh, yeah, it's very entertaining. What's her? Her character's name. Oh my gosh, I don't even know. <laughs> Sarah. So, just kidding. I'll cut you slack because it's been three years it since you've been It has been a it. while. But, um, I just um, had to know. It. Maybe I shouldn't know. Well, I've already seen her face Yeah, now. you've seen her face. You'll, and she looks basically the same. Oof, okay. So, anyways, crazy that that happened. Okay. But continue. Yeah, so <laughs> if you've watched One Tree Hill, that's who Sophia Bush is. Oh. She's the chicken One Tree Hill, okay? So it was reported that Ashlyn and Sophia had had their first like official dinner date like a few weeks before the news broke Mm -hmm. that Ashlyn and Allie were getting a divorce, right? Um, Because they both attended and I don't, I've never heard of this festival. So it was some international festival that they Mm -hmm. both attended. They were like on a panel for and they were seen being like very friendly, like touching each other, laughing, whatever on the panel. And it was reported that that's kind of where the romance started happening with them. Interesting. That was in June, though. So that was months, months ago. before. Also, she was Brooke Davis in One Tree Hill. So Thank you. If you have seen it, she's Brooke. We're tying it all together for yeah. you. <laughs> Make sure you know all the pieces. Um, yeah, so a source told the Daily Mail that um, Ashlyn, after she had gone to this international festival... She came, this is what it says, quote, she, quote, came back right after, I think it's Kane's. Yeah. Came back right after Kane's ended their marriage and said there was nothing to even speak about regarding it. She was just over it. Crazy. Kind of crazy. Yeah. Imagine being, Allie, is it Allie? Yes. Yeah. So she, Allie's just chilling, prob- I don't actually know. But what I imagine is Allie chilling Has, at home with the kids. Yeah. She's also... 
still like she still plays soccer she's yeah. this is her last year i think with the nwsl and she plays for gotham and yeah. so she's like playing just living her life living her life training wrong. yeah taking care of the kids all of a sudden her wife comes home and says we're done there's nothing to talk about wild to our knowledge that's what happened yeah and again then all these rumors all these rumors are happening right yeah and then this is when things get so juicy okay so like Allie hasn't spoken on anything herself at this point but then Allie posted a picture on instagram and the caption was preparing for playoffs while in my beyonce lemonade era oh oh yeah if for context, more context for you guys, okay? Um, Beyonce's album Lemonade has been confirmed to be written about when Jay Z cheated on her. Yeah, like that was the premise of it. Yeah. So she all but confirmed. Yeah, she basically the cheating rumors. Yeah. yeah. So the comments, though, you guys. Oh my gosh, the comments go so wild. Where like, U.S. Women's National Team players have commented them have yeah. commented themselves so like alex morgan we all know the name uh she commented saying these comments do not disappoint with a fire emoji oh my gosh yep sophia smith commented writing energy so there was just like a it's very clear whose side, side. everyone's yeah. on yeah and There's... it's very clear whose side america is, is on. on yeah and we don't we don't mess with cheaters we don't mess with cheaters and yeah, honestly, I should have, like, pulled up the memes because they are so funny where it's, like, yeah. Ashlyn, like, I, I don't know if Allie, oh, there was more, oh, I forgot to look this up. Basically, also, Ashlyn took out of her bio, Mother of Two, on Instagram, started getting absolutely roasted for it, put it back in her bio. Team USA posted, like, not too long ago that it was her birthday. They were like, happy birthday to two-time world champion oh um, Ashlyn. What I, and, like, the comments were like, two-timer indeed. Oh, and, like, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And they were like, and also, Ashlyn, like, didn't play. Allie yeah. plays. Ashlyn didn't play. Yeah. But Allie has. Like, she played significant minutes in both of those World yeah. Cups. Um, one of the comments was like, this, this is sad. They were like, um, she has more abandoned children than she has minutes in the World Cup. Guys, no, they were not holding Yeah, they back. came out for blood. They oh came for blood. They were like, so Allie won America in the divorce. Yeah. And Wild. <laughs> so crazy. Yeah. Anyways, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I'm missing. I believe that is... That's the tea. That's the tea, and it it's is hot. Steamy. Yeah. Steamy. Wow. Okay. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, that's crazy. So now when you see everything, it's just going to all click. Yeah. Now I don't know if I could watch One, One Tree Hill. That's wild. Yeah. But, like, you should have watched it before this, <laughs> Kiki. I still i am shook that you, you haven't seen it. You should have told me. I, I think... know. I know. Wild. It just never came up. Yeah. It's one of those shows that's, like, good, but it's not, like groundbreaking Crazy popular yeah but like if you're ever bored and you need something to watch one tree hill okay yeah because she's not i guess her character develop development kind of makes her one of the main characters but initially she's not okay so. interesting i'll have to remember i'll have to yeah. remember that maybe after some time passes i can yeah give it but a chance anyways all right wild wild and now that's we go to our sports nightmares yeah that in and of itself is kind of a nightmare yeah, sounds like a nightmare um but we're gonna go to hypothetical nightmares that yeah. aren't real but ones things that we would never want to happen because this is our sports spooky season yeah really who's going first you can go first okay making the decision so <laughs> to be clear these are very centered for me at least uh like Maybe just half of them. We're just doing a few each. Yeah. Mine are very centered around like things that that like I value in sports. Yes. So for me, my sports nightmare would be if the Splash Bros, Steph Curry and Clay Thompson were split up. Yeah. But like, if they were split up and like they sent one of them to like the Lakers or something. Yeah. Why? That would be like the end of an era, just absolutely devastating yeah. to me. Yeah. Yeah. It would feel. You wouldn't want to see a team without that. No, <laughs> I would feel like 
they just betrayed yeah so many people especially to the to the lakers yes like that's a and that's why i threw it in there just yeah. to make it really tough yeah no I would, that i hate it doesn't personally affect me but i can see how it would that affect would me and a lot a lot of a people a lot of people yeah it's a true, lot of people they're iconic they are so that's um. my first one <laughs> i guess mine's pretty personal too um as you guys know, I'm an SEC fan. Yes. Um, and I Which don't... is a conference in football, remember? Yes. And we talked about, when we did our college football thing, we talked about Ohio State. Oh, no. And how I, like, don't like Ohio State. So my first football... My first nightmare would be if, like, Ohio State had the same kind of dynasty that Alabama has. Honestly? Like, winning every single year. Put me... I, that's my nightmare too, Sarah. I would literally hate everything because Ohio just Ohio State's fans in general are awful. And like, yeah, you could probably say similar things about Bama. I personally think they're not nearly as aggressive as Ohio State fans. But same. like, if they had the same dynasty that like Nick Saban and Alabama had at Ohio State, I would. Oh my gosh, sounds terrible, and scary. Wow, that's accurate. Yeah. That is so I would feel the same way. I don't I didn't think about that, but true. I was thinking like, I wonder like something with Ohio State, man. Yeah. <laughs> but I did not and I'm piece like, it. Not together. even like and that might come to a surprise because like I also don't like FSU, but like they're still a Florida team, so I can still somewhat like res- resonate with that. Whereas like Ohio State's just like Ohio Absolutely State. Absolutely not. And yeah. I refuse to call them the Ohio, the Ohio State. State. Refuse. Same. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do one that's more general to mm-hmm. switch it up. This is so specific. But do you know how, like, baseball coaches <laughs> wear the base, like, the player's uniform? Yeah. You only see that in baseball. Yeah. My nightmare would be if all coaches just started wearing <laughs> the player's uniform. Could you imagine football Football, football coaches? Basketball? That's in true. the tanks? I'm just thinking, I immediately thought Andy Reid in football. A hundred percent. It's just so funny. No, I, yeah. So distracting. So distracting. Yeah. I could absolutely not, guys. <laughs> That's so funny. That's like, hilarious. I did not think of that. I don't know why. I don't, that's like a really random one, but yeah. I was just like, I don't want to see Bill Belichick dressed up like he's going to play. Yeah, go out on the field. It's uncomfy to me. Yeah. No, I or agree. Or literally, like, basketball, I'm like, Steve Kerr, I love you. I don't need to see you in a uniform anymore. Yeah. We're past yeah. that. Like, like no sleeves and... Yeah. Just, <laughs> I, I'm uncomfortable. I don't want it. I don't like that's it. That's so funny. No. Yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> that's very lighthearted. I feel like mine are a lot... Like, I had to... I, I threw a lighthearted one in there. Good. They can be whatever, though. Okay. My next one... Is just also terrifying to think about if, like, we all remember the bubble during COVID and all yes. of those things. If COVID rules were permanent after that. Wow. Could you imagine what sports would be like with no fans in the stadiums, all the players having to stay in, like, hotels and not interact with, like, anyone like, I'm just thinking about it and I'm like, that would be awful. That, like, that would honestly. That would be. I think we're good. <laughs> I just stopped talking because yeah, I was like, it's not recording on your end. Little technical difficulty, but we're yeah, good. Yeah, sorry. Little technical difficulty, guys. All of a sudden, it looked like my mic wasn't recording and we froze. Yeah. Um, but that's fine. Honestly, it would be ter- terrible. And I think it would ruin sports. Yeah. Because it already, like, you saw what it did to sports back then. I can't even imagine if that continued. So I did one somewhat similar to this, mm-hmm. where I was like, if we went back to 2020 sports, not necessarily the rules continuing, that would also suck. But like, if we ever went back to like, no one in the stadium. Yeah. Because you remember, like, we were working together at the yeah. time. And I was allowed to be in the stadium. You had to work from like our oh. office building. I don't, I'm so sorry, guys. weird that was weird but i (laughs) told it to leave me alone okay so you had to like i literally was working from like home (laughs) yeah and that's true you were and i was just like 
this was not at the point where like they would let some fans in this was at the point where like they had the weird like cardboard cutouts cardboard i look back and i'm like this was a nightmare yeah cardboard cutouts and like they would pump sound in yeah but for like i remember being at byu football games and it wasn't even like players families could come at this point yeah and you could hear a pin drop you could yeah when when they would not pump that audio it was so quiet i would call you and literally be like whispering (laughs) yeah i'd be like sorry i just can't talk yeah i don't want them to hear me yeah like it was freaky yeah and and then there's cardboard cutouts staring at you yeah it's a nightmare terrifying don't take me back to that no and don't don't continue it and don't don't bring it back yeah (laughs) we're on the same page for that one that's That's crazy yeah that's so funny um is that was that your that That was my third okay cool well okay i'll bounce to the next one this is Um, our last one right i have two how many have you said? I uh, had four. I only did two, and then you did technically two. So she. No, I did three. So now this is your third, right? Yeah, this okay. is my third, and then I have one Guys, more. Guys, we after are on this. the same page. I'm sorry. Yeah, I started though. <laughs> yes. So okay, go ahead. Okay, uh, my next one is if performance enhancing drugs were like <gasps> legal. That's scary. Could you imagine? That would actually be a nightmare for everyone, for the athlete. Like, yeah. that would be so harmful. Another and way that, like, would probably ruin sports. That's dark, Sarah. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, scary true. to think about. If no, it's that true. was something that people were allowed to use, like, people would resort to that immediately. And yeah. it would, like, ruin their lives. If yeah. they are not doing it correctly and if they're doing too much... It could be so bad. That's Sorry. actually such... That one's like, yeah, very deep. Very deep, but very accurate. Yeah. Um, I'm going to end with a very personal one. You guys know that I love Steve Young. Okay? Yeah. He was former BYU 49ers quarterback. I love this man. He's the best, okay? He's also giving you shout outs. Like... Yes. I also love him because he loves me. <laughs> <laughs> but really, like, he's he is so supportive and he's like he's coaching like his daughter's flag football team right now which is pretty baller Casually, so yeah he's awesome i love him my nightmare would be if he went and coached at utah <laughs> <laughs> that's funny it, i'm like, sorry don't be to laugh <laughs> i didn't know where you're gonna go with that but that is okay I, that yeah. would be so sad to me not that like listen Kyle Whittingham is great he already played at BYU and he coaches yeah, at Utah there's a lot of overlap there's a lot of overlap but this is one that would devastate you devastate me in a very personal and emotional way yeah that's funny so that's my last no, one no I I can see that I would be so mad <laughs> I would lit I would be furious yeah yeah, yeah. it would I can't even betrayal. talk about it again betrayal uh, yeah betrayed Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't. We need to move on. Anyways, okay, this one I feel like you will resonate with as well. We're also wearing Jordan gear today. Matching. So I did not plan this, but my last one is if Michael Jordan never signed with Nike. Wow. Could you imagine? We're going back in I'm time. I'm literally like, I'm not wearing Jordans, but like, imagine like the shoe game, how that changes things. We're literally repping his brand right now. I don't now. know. The, okay, so. Would he, like, would it be the same with another company? Here's, here's, th- that's, I have thoughts on this. Yeah. Have you seen the movie yet, Sarah? Yes, I watched it. Did I tell you this? You did not tell me <laughs> this. <laughs> yes, I watched it. Um, Wait, what's, what's it called again? Air. Air Jordan. Air. Air. Just, Just Air. Air. Yeah, I did watch it. Um, So good, right? It was, it was good. I feel like. I hyped it up too much. Yeah, I feel like I expected you can say more, it. but I thought it was really good, and it was. And I just, I like, I enjoyed it because it was just interesting to see. It's so interesting. The I think for me, I didn't. I saw it so early. I didn't hear anything about it, so I was yeah. just like, whoa. So, um, it's sorry okay. about that. It was very good, though. I I love getting that like perspective. Yeah, um, was interesting. So here's what. Because what was the brand he, he Adidas. Wanted? It was Adidas. It was That's Adidas. What I okay. Um, at the time, like Converse wasn't owned by Nike, and like yeah. Converse had shoes too, and like they yeah. other companies. But he did want to sign um with Adidas. Here's, here's what I will say. I am kind of well. I don't know if. 
like it is it is groundbreaking and it would have been the worst because like he like no one had like their own line at the yeah. time so like if he went to adidas and didn't get that that would suck but if he had his own line at adidas as someone who loves both nike and adidas yeah. i think it could be sick because i like do you think it would have blown up the way that it did adidas was bigger than nike yeah it's i think true, so would they have come out with a design like as cool of design you know what i mean 100 percent. like there's just so many scenarios i'm like what i don't know no for sure i think um i think that is like i just think i think that's why i thought the movie was so fascinating to me mm-hmm. to think about what if he that hadn't happened yeah. um and it was just like a phenomenal cast that did a phenomenal yeah. job but um yeah i'm curious because something i like about i really i feel like I just really like Adidas, like, I don't know. I feel like they're streetwear. And if you think, like, street dancing or anything, yeah. you tend to think Adidas yeah. instead. So I'm curious how it would have, like, affected things. That, yeah. That's a really good one, Sarah. Yeah, that was my last one. Wow. Yeah. And I thought it was funny because then we both came in repping, so. We didn't plan it either. We didn't. Also, mine's very low key. Like you probably are like. She's but are not. your pants Jordan too? They are. Oh yeah, yeah. they are. I forgot. I, I should have worn. Jordan. I should I have Jordan joggers. They're like a different material. But then we really would have been matching. Yeah, that's true. I think we have matching ones. Are they like the oh, parachutey yeah. ones? Yep. We both wow. have those. <laughs> One day we're One gonna day. have to come in. Just... Did we buy those together or I separate? So. I think in Vegas. Yeah. right? I think so. Wow. Okay. Love that. It's um, where most of. My... <laughs> I know we would do some real. Big uh, shopping sprees. Shopping sprees. Anyways. Um, those are our nightmares. That was fun. Those are our nightmares. Happy spooky season. Don't let our nightmares be yours. Yeah. Or like if you can think of any scenarios or hypotheticals that like you're like, oh my gosh. Let us know. Because I was like, it got me thinking like real hard. I'm going to think so much more about these. Different things. Yeah. Wow. Crazy. Very interesting. Guys, thanks for listening. Um, we'll be posting some of the things we talked about. So as always, follow us on Instagram. If you're here and you're listening or watching and enjoying um, yourself being here, then like like the video or like the podcast. Yeah. Give us a good rating. We're follow very, us. Follow us. Give us comments. Yeah. You know? Or DM us. Whatever DM us. works. Um, we yeah. love hearing from you guys. Um, but that's all we've got on calling the shots. shots. And... We'll see you next time. See ya. Bye.